All right, take a good look at this squad because it's a much different looking Iron Man team than you've ever seen before. Let me take you back on how I got here. Last episode, we left you off with Ian Happ as the big upgrade going to second base. Ellie De La Cruz was playing shortstop well. Oh boy, has this, uh, has this taken some major, major upgrades thanks to Moonshot events. So let me walk you through everything you missed. Immediately following last episode, MLB The Show dropped the Legends of Franchise program. And my number one goal was to try to play the Legends of Franchise event. But unfortunately, I couldn't do so. But I can't because I cannot feel the lineup. I am missing three relief pitchers and because of that i have no way to play the event i can't buy any cards i can't grind any out uh there's no offline cards really to get well um <laughs> i couldn't do anything i ended up buying some packs including the jim rice headliner pack which as you can see a little bit of a splurge uh i'm gonna go for jim rice um i'm gonna buy this pack might as well so let's see what we get we're guaranteed one of these which is nice we'll grab the phillies one. Oh, baby okay yes sir okay this will kind of brighten up the spirits a bit i feel like we got to go jason john because his swing is so much better and this is such a uh an elite bat very cool to get jason giambi on the club so it's no uh, it's no event grinded out, but it's still a big W for the Iron Man in today's episode. Love that. That was worth the shot. So because I didn't have enough pitching relievers, I sort of just had to wait. I played a couple ranked games. I won one. I lost one. Didn't really get anywhere in the rankings. I actually think I might have lost two. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Our record is... 29 and four. So yeah, I lost one game, won one game. Didn't really get anywhere though. So it was kind of just a net wash and I was at a standstill because really badly I wanted to get to this AL East pack for 100,000 XP. If you got to the event total, you were able to immediately turn around and cash in 80,000 XP. And I thought, wow, if we get Jorge Posada, like that changes a lot of things about our team and about our lineup and what we can do. So he was gonna be my main goal over the next episode. And then finally, the Moonshot event hit. And boy, was that something. I went through everything. I thought at minimum 30 wins would be key. Uh, not only were we doing the actual Moonshot program, but we were also going for the events. So we basically, at every kind of milestone, I think 15, 25, and 30, uh, I started doing the pack openings. So uh, I'll kind of take you through the progression of how that went and the stuff that we got in those packs. And uh, yeah, follow, <laughs> take a look at this because some of this, this was a heck of a grind. It's, it's so hard to explain this, but yeah, basically uh, we get to our wins. We start opening our packs and at the very, very end, I decide to buy the Jim Edmonds headliner pack. So I'll string those clips together. Along the way, you're going to see Albert Pujols' first home run as an Iron Man. Hopefully the first of very many to come. Uh, and yeah, so just kind of sit back and, and enjoy the extremely condensed roller coaster I went on. This took so many hours across multiple days. So here you go. Hope you enjoy. And look at what we've got. So we've got six standards. We've got two of the new headliners, which is for Trevor Hoffman. We've got five ballins. We've got a home run derby pack. Hello, Julio, maybe if we're lucky. Um, uh, we've got a pennant race pack and two rewind packs because I'm at 10 wins here in the event. So we'll go ahead and do this. will be our, our, our quick opening. And, and first thing I'll do is I'll take the stadium. We'll do the pennant race. We're going to add Blake Trine into the bullpen, which is really, really nice. He's a good hard sinker baller. Our bullpen, in my opinion, is the biggest upgrade we need. And so I'm constantly looking for an upgrade there. And now our home run derby pack where we're pretty much looking to get Julio Rodriguez, but whoever we do end up getting will, will be able to probably slot in on the bench. Pretty much need Julio from this pack or else it's it's not a huge win for us. Uh, looks like we got the base round. I'm going to go Acuna because the swing is so sweet and he can always play. So we'll grab him. Worst case scenario, he's a nice sell there. I'm going to continue grinding out the moonshot event. Um... 
gets 15 wins, I'll probably grab Murray and Hal Neuhauser. Love to get to the All-Star Game pack. So if I can get to 25 wins, a couple things happen here, and I think these are, are really important. So if we get to the All-Star Game pack and you pull the rare round, instead of grabbing Stanton, we'll grab Alec Manoa because he's one of the better pitchers in the game. If you don't, then I still get Emmanuel Classe, who would be a really big pickup for the bullpen, or we could go Clayton Kershaw, but almost certainly would go Class A. And then we've got Buxton and Helsley. So if we pull that mid-round, we definitely go Ryan Helsley here, which is uh, exactly what I want to do. If I can get Ryan Helsley, I think that's another big pickup for the bullpen as well. So I'm kind of shooting for 25 wins. All right, so that is win number 15. This is what we've got now. Uh, of course, Albert Pujols hit the home run, so we get a free milestone Albert Pujols. Pretty doggone cool. Um, he's going right in the lineup. I don't think uh, this is my favorite player of all time. So, um, unfortunately, Mr. Giambi has already found himself out of the lineup so excited to have albert so um if there's anything good in these packs uh you'll see it otherwise uh we're gonna go ahead and uh skip until we hit 25 wins i've been grinding this home run out for so long pool holes out to deep left off scott casimir it's number one albert against the lefty all right making a little pit stop now we've got uh win number 18 so this is what our packs look like right now where we got them from was the moonshot program just by winning games we're getting points we're getting closer to that 99 kilobrew who would be pretty electric to have uh as we continue to try to grind the event as we try to get as close as possible to sheffield so that's where we got the all-star pack from this gives us a huge chance at getting bullpen help hopefully helsley and class a would be really nice if if we can pull that off i'd be very happy all right so we didn't get anything from the ball and as a habit packs so let's run the home run derby pack oh my goodness there's no shots 98 julio is joining the club that's insane no way dude the luck on this account is absurd oh my gosh wow oh that was such a casual he i did not think that was happening at all all right here we go uh five to a player by accident we got the rare round back-to-back oh, -back rare rounds oh my gosh so i'm going to lv Marte because i absolutely love this card so really excited ian hap thank you so much for joining our team and now the all-star game pack Okay, we, we finally got a base round, but this is a huge upgrade for us anyway. We are out of space here. I mean, Julio's just too good to deny. Like, I don't think I could not have Julio. At least we're gonna give him a shot. He'll get a chance playing the Moonshot event, see how he goes. Um, Austin Meadows, look, dude, I mean, we've reached a point where we have so many great cards. Like, if we have to let him go, like he will put him on the wall we will retire austin meadows like i thought i could get him to parallel five but i'm still 2000 xp away which is just insane but minimum we'll put him on the wall in the hall of fame he's got to get to 50 homers before we do it though he's currently sitting at 49 so he's got to get to 50 homers and then we can retire him he can go off in the sunset um, other than that though, I mean, like we've got David justice, we've got 99 Giambi who's got to be in the bench. So like this team's looking insane. And with the newly acquired Albert Pujols, like this team is nuts. Like it, it's absolutely, absolutely baller. The only thing that this team lacks, and I mean, the only thing is uh, left-handed relief pitching. And I'm starting to think I'll end up having to use starters out of the pen, these left-handed starters, and then find a way to use these other starters um, when I can. So for now, that's kind of what we're looking to do. But otherwise, it looks really, really good, and uh, we'll check back in at uh, win number 25. Yoinks, Batman. Bro, this game... You have got to be me. Oh, oh, I got him before the run scored. I got him before the run scored. Whoa, hold on. We got to see this again. First of all, can we talk about this BS? 
Look at this hit. Oh, just a perfectly placed down the line. Well, good thing Prince Fielder's slow as molasses. And Nick uh, Swisher 2.0's got a cannon. Because, uh, boy, is this a tight one right there. Look at this. See? The throw comes in. Tags down. Oh. <laughs> All right. There it is. Number 25. What a nightmare grind. Oh, 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 yes, dude. I did not expect that. Oh, we're going to have one of these guys. Okay, we are praying for a mid or rare round. Mid or rare. We want Manoa or Helsley. If we get a low round, it's kind of a worst case scenario because Kershaw, I mean, he'll make the rotation because I went through all of this. So he's pitching for me, but he's not the first choice. Uh, and then we've got Posada and Sean Green. Of course, there's also Wade Boggs, you know, but like Posada, Sean Green. I feel like we have to take Posada and he's got to catch for us. All right, here we go. Mid or rare round. I'm closing my eyes. Ah, I can't put that on the video. This is so disappointing. <laughs> All that effort for two base rounds. We literally... I literally grinded all of this out. The whole point of this was to build up some bullpen strength. Crazy, honestly. Uh, all right, one more thing here. I've got 25K. If you pull 99 Trevor Hoffman, it really changes the bullpen. So you know what? We're buying a headliner's choice pack and we got the gold. Alrighty, so I did end up grinding out to 30 wins. I don't think I'll grind anymore. This Moonshot event's been a heck of a grind as is. And honestly, our team is really getting stacked. I think this is the best it could have ever looked. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, let's open up the juicy pack because the only card out of here that we would want is Vita Blue, just because they're fun to collect. We'll grab the uh, Cardinals legend, Jason Hayward. Um, next, we will move on to the set 47 headliners pack. Looks like we got nothing but silvers there. And this is a ball and out of control pack. Well, let's do the NLEs pack next. And we'll go ahead and grab Glavin, add him to the rotation. We'll probably start him off by slotting over Bly Levin. Bly Levin will have to earn his spot in the rotation. Otherwise, we've got the ball and out of control pack, which has a one in three chance, and then the headliners 49 pack. So let's go ahead and do the ball and out of control pack. Oh, a double diamond. That's our first ever double diamond. Let's see who we got here. Low diamond card for our first run. And a one in three chance will help you get there. It looks like a Dodgers card. Who did we get? It's Clayton Kershaw. So uh, we already have the all-star version of Clayton Kershaw. So he'll be a nice exchange piece down the road. And it looks like another low diamond card again. This one, Astro, is probably going to be Verlander. Once again, another uh, easy exchange. Oh, it's actually Jordan Alvarez. So there you go. Here's the fun pack. Do we get Jim Edmonds to pair up with Albert Pujols and have the MV2? Let's take a look. <laughs> we did get him. We got him. Jimmy Edmonds. We got him. <laughs> we totally didn't need it. But we got it anyway, and I absolutely love that. So now the question comes in, do we want to grab Bruce Suter? I, the the answer is no, because I don't need more right-handed relief pitching. If I'm going to get any more relievers, it's got to be a left-handed reliever. So we're going to grab Jim Edmonds and put him behind Albert Pools in the lineup. I just think that's a fun one. Um, Albert Pools, Jim Edmonds, that was like one of my favorite things growing up. Um, that does move Austin Meadows to the bench. Uh, but he will be a starter for now. It'll be Jim Edmonds on the bench. Jim Edmonds will be a starter at some point. As of right now, he's just going to replace um, uh, Jason Giambi. I didn't really care for Jason Giambi, but I want to have I want to have Austin Meadows. The big thing for Austin Meadows is I want him to hit career home run number fifty so that we can retire Austin Meadows. I think it's time. Um, it's time for the Ironman to take a new chapter. That's what this is all about. It's time for the Ironman to take a new chapter, and that's really what this whole episode's about. Um, we want to hand off. These guys are going to hand off 
the team to the other ones. I mean, we'll still keep Meadows on the bench with MJ and Jose Ramirez, uh, who, in my opinion, are the three heart and soul pieces uh, to the Ironman. So we're never going to not have them. But eventually, yeah, we're going to have Jim Edmonds uh, almost certainly playing right field. He's got just such a good arm and, and stuff like that. And then Julio will continue to play center field with his speed. So we'll have this is how it'll end up looking. It'll be Pujols, admins, 3-4, uh, with Julio leading off Juan Soto. I mean, this lineup's just absurd. Jorge Posada follows it up. Um, after him, Killebrew, and then we'll do Ellie De La Cruz, followed by Noel V. Marte. So this lineup's just unreal at this point. The pitching staff, unreal. So I, I do think we finally have everything we could possibly need to get into World Series. Unless we get a left-handed relief pitcher, I'm done. I'm done building this team. Like, I legitimately turned this team into a god squad i turned this this team here into this god squad with no buying no selling and no offline grinding whatsoever it was all packs and online rewards particularly events absolutely insane and now i'm gonna go for world series and that's all we're gonna do so the videos coming up forward are mostly gonna be the uh, championship series and onward video so we're only gonna be showing things we've already made championship series twice in this series so there's no reason to show another climb there it's clear that we can hit championship series but we need to hit world series so we'll be showing championship videos onward and we'll show big milestones such as albert pools his first ranked seasons home run we will show austin meadows hitting home run number 50 which is bound to happen he's sitting at 49 and when austin meadows hits 50 home runs we will officially retire him and we will put him on the hall of fame we'll probably have him ride the bench just so that he can work towards parallel five i think that would be a cool one too so with that being said it's basically ranked from here on out and that's pretty exciting um because we've we've done it i mean this team's built They're, you're not gonna see it better is way better than my main account which i haven't really touched in comparison so uh, we've got an elite pitching staff now i would say we've got an, a pretty doggone good bullpen i just don't see us needing to upgrade much more other than a lefty reliever so with that i hope you enjoyed this update video and just to show you where we where i've been at with this account i have been non-stop grinding in all of my free time and while i haven't recorded everything it's basically because a lot of these videos have just been gameplay videos over and over again and I didn't want that. I didn't want this to be just a gameplay video. I wanted this to be a, an actual progress update. I wanted something to show that I've been working my tail off here. I had to win 30 Moonshot events. And let me tell you, I didn't win every single one of the 30 games I played. That's a lot when you also work 50 to 60 hours a week. So um, that's what I've been doing. Uh, anyway, yes, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, happy hitting. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.